How are we doing, guys? What is going on? I'm gonna come, I've decided to come live a little bit early in case there were any questions. Anyone had anything they wanted to talk about? Anything anyone wanted to uh, know about? Any life questions that need answered? Any of that stuff. Who has the best chicken nuggets? Those kind of questions. You know, deep life. Philosophical life questions. So my... One of my twins grabbed the today's case. He said it was a good one. So we're going to see if he's right. <clears throat> he said, Dad, this is a case you want to open. I said, all right. So this is a case we're opening. What's up, Sam? This is a case we are going to open. We're going to trust Lincoln knows what he's talking about. If he doesn't, I'll beat him later on. <coughs> so we're going to wait until uh, 10, but we're just going to hang out and chat. Hang out and have some fun. What is that? Get off there. I'll show you guys the, uh, what's up, Ken? Good luck to you. I hope you have a good break. Let me show you the, let me show you this. Come here. Sit right here. This is my buddy. Right here, everybody can see you. This is the newest member of the Restless Craft Breakers family. His name is Floppy. Floppy, can you say hi? Can you say hi to everybody, Floppy? Are you going to say hi? Floppy. There's Floppy. Let me move him back. This is his. This is his brother from another mother. Twitchy. Poor little Twitchy is a. Uh, unfortunately, was a uh, puppy mill puppy. So we decided to save him and give him a good home, somewhere that he can live out his days in peace and comfort. So this is Twitchy. See his eye. That's why he's twitchy. Because he's got a twitchy eye. <coughs> Where's the other two right on, too? Oh, wait, I don't stand below you. That's right. Those are uh, both uh, corgis. Pembroke corgi. Whatever the thing is on the end. Pembroke Welsh corgi. <coughs> he is a good dog. Thank you, Ken. They're both good dogs. They've, they've done well. They've done well. Twitchy is still... Twitching. He's still got a ways to go. But Floppy is... Uh, and the German Shepherd has taken to them well. Um, so it's all good. They play together very well. There's no... The only thing she doesn't like is anyone messing with her food. And I don't blame her. So those are the uh, those are the newest members of the restless crap. I'm killing the camera. Uh, I've killed the camera. So let's get over here. There you can see better. Floppy and Twitchy. All right, let me see if I can fix the camera now that I've destroyed everything. Mm 
Here we go. It is 9.58 in the great state of Missouri. We're going to wait for two more. What's up, Garrett? We're going to wait for two more minutes. We're going to go over. I forget that we are on eBay this today. So I, I have to go over the list of who has what before we break. Very important to do for an eBay break. So let me go wash my hands and then we will do the list. Who is this done fellow? It is 9.59 in the great state of Missouri. We will go over the list, see who has what, and then we shall get to breaking. 2020 Top Series 1 Hobby Full Case Break Number 1. I should put eBay in there somewhere, but I didn't. Curtis has the Diamondbacks, Elias are the Braves, the Cubs, the Reds, the Angels. Mandy has the Red Sox and Rockies. James has the Orioles and Rangers. Alex has the White Sox. Chris W., the Marlins and Rays. Marie has the Dodgers. Ryan F., the Royals and Pirates. Brady K., the Astros. George H., the Tigers. Richard S., the Indians. Tim, Brewers, Twins, A's, Cardinals. Robert A. has the Mets. Braden K., the Yankees. Michael R., the Phillies. Jose, the Padres. Sam has the Mariners. Armando, the Blue Jays. And Anthony has the Nationals. There we go. And now everyone's caught up. I appreciate everyone getting paid up quickly. It's always nice when everybody pays fast. That way you don't have to worry about anything other than breaking cards. Settle in, boys and girls. It's going to be a two and a half hour ordeal to get this broke. So we might as well just lay back, hang out. What the hell? What is this? Six. One, two, three, four, five. What? What? Tops, you suck. That's terrible. What's going on, Ryan? Hello, Mandy. No, Tops doesn't suck, but whoever did the collation for these sucks because we did not get a silver pack. There better be something monstrous in there. <clears throat> better be something monstrous, monstrous in here because we did not get a silver pack, boys and girls. That makes me unhappy. What's up, James? Yeah, but there should be. You know, I, I don't blame... I don't blame Tops, but the, certainly the no, they didn't give us an extra pack. Certainly, whoever was responsible for making sure that things were happening the way they were supposed to did not. That's what makes me unhappy. Right? Because somebody's responsibility to make sure there is a silver in every single one, and they did not. <clears throat> So the first part was the wrong thing to say. I take it back. Atlanta Braves team card. Maybe they didn't put silver in here because we have gold. Maybe there's no silver because there is gold. Let's find out. Am I centered? Anyone see? Anyone tell me anything? 
Cody Bellinger. Savali What's going on there? Thank you. I appreciate that. Yes, we have put a little money into the into the uh, um, computer. We actually have two rigs to break from now in anticipation of Mandy coming to live here and starting to break while she lays on the couch. So you know. You got that much water for all those plants? Yeah. Why don't you get uh, Ian to help you? Kepler home run, Juan Soto. My hands, you're saying? <coughs> You know, it's a little painful, Marie. My Dodgers tattoo is a little painful. I have to admit. I was also sad when my hair spontaneously fell out. Off my face. And off the rest of me. So that was sad. But outside of that, the uh, tattoo is painful. Mandy and Marie, you missed the pictures of the puppies. I, I put them up here and showed everyone frickin' frack. Out of 300, 130 out of 300, Nick Pavetta. Our first box is without a silver pack. That makes me unhappy. I thought at first it was an extra pack, but then I counted and there was only five and one. So... Someone who at Tops who was responsible for uh, the collation of this box fell down on the job. Let me see it. It's at the beginning. Uh, I would say there definitely are more SSPs. You can get the acetate, less autos. Um, but I think the color I like better in hobby. I like the color in hobby better. I think we've done better with color in hobby than we have in jumbo. Volume is more in uh, hobby, so there should be more rookies, more of those kind of things. Eduardo Rodriguez. And of course, since we, uh, for all of you new people, since we didn't list the, uh, the, um, the uh, um, celebration ticket, so the one that I'm going to pull, I'm going to keep, of course, <clears throat> because I'm selfish like that. Who was the patch card? There was, no, was there a patch card? Did I miss something? I don't think there was a patch yet. In our first three cases of of uh, this product, we pulled the um, polar bear, which was nice. Lots of good SPs. <clears throat> Let's see if Tops makes up for the fact that we did not get a silver pack in this box. Did I throw it away? You guys were watching. Did I miss it? But definitely, I think the... Well, and the other thing, Ellie, is that we've been getting, we've been getting at least one SSP. Though in one case we had two, um, we also have had in every 
uh, one of these, at least one. Um, oh, that was a gold, by the way. David Dahl. At least one um, camo. We've had at least one vintage stock, though yesterday we had two. So I, I think the the hits, I mean the color, I like the color, color better in, uh, in uh, hobby, but certainly you like if you're an auto person you like the um, you like the uh, jumbo better but to me for me these are the kind of products that set up that I like the uh, I like the color Brian Anderson Mike Trout so it'd be nice if we hit a uh, yeah there are there are some good ones we hit uh, who we hit yesterday oh day before yesterday we hit Babe Ruth yesterday we hit Ted Williams and Brendan McKay was the other SSP, maybe? Somebody like that. Well, we did hit two. Aquino, that's our first rookie, really. And there's our first Garrett Cole SP. So that, that was, uh, um, and then my 12 cases of Jumbos, 12 more cases of Jumbo showed up today. Was it that, that it, James? I knew it was something like that. They are adorable. And I didn't even show you guys Artemis. Artemis is the third member. There's Gavin. Ronald Acuna Jr. It just loses something when you don't have the uh, when you don't have the uh, silver pack. It's just me, I know. Whew. Someone's out of their mind. Honestly, more power to you if you can sell that thing for a lot. I, I'm not a it's not that I'm not a Pete Alonso fan because that is, ooh, out of 50, George Springer for the Astros. That is not the case at all. I just want a card that it, you know, I don't want a polar bear on my, on my uh, Pete Alonso card. That's just me. I know it's just me. Sorry. So we'll have Jumbo starting tomorrow in uh, the Facebook group. Tomorrow will be a Jumbo case. Thursday we're going to do the one of the Leaf Ultimate cases. There it is. Vintage Stock Solaire for the Kansas City Royals. Um, yes. 2K, there better be more than ink on it. 91 out of 99. It better be numbered uh, one of one and have the ink on it. Yordan. I mean that that uh, Alonzo one of one that we won at the uh, that we won at the rip party, million card rip party and gave away. That's I, I think that's more, you know, for the polar bear than that one. So each their own. Well, that box needed to have the silver pack for sure. It needed to have the silver pack. Hold on, let me move things around. I am a little disappointed. This better have a silver pack in it. Okay, this one does have a silver pack.
So generally when you look at this thing, it is this stack here that has the hit, which is why I like to take that one out and put that last. Wow, turkey red, huh? That's a good one. It is amazing to me, even with the Million Card Rip Party, how quickly this product has dried up. And then when you can find it, the secondary market prices for it. It's, uh, it's, uh, I mean, there's a lot of good rookies in this product. I, I mean, I get it. Juan Soto World Series. We'll put a sleeve on Juan. So we're going to have three stacks you guys are going to see. Well, you'll see two of them. We're going to have everything that we're sleeving, and then we're going to have, I mean, uh, everything we're putting in a top loader, then we're going to have everything we're going to sleeve here. And then, uh, of course, the, uh, the other stack. I passed up on buying uh, a bunch of retail of this. I kind of wish I would have now. What are you going to do? I think I missed my window for ordering Series 2 retail. I should have just taken that opportunity. But you live and you learn. Boat. So like I said, Jumbo in uh, the Facebook group. If you haven't joined the Facebook group yet. Um, there is a link in the uh, description, I think, to take you to our Facebook group. Our cases there have been selling out in less than 10 minutes, which is fantastic. We are pounding through them. We're going to have cases tomorrow. Uh, we're going to have the other one Thursday. But we might do two on Thursday. We'll see where we're at. And then uh, we'll have a case Friday. We'll have a case Saturday. Sunday I ship. And then we start it all over again. Pete. Monday cases, Tuesday cases. I got some more uh, good news about um, Mario Rivera. About uh, what's up next? Heritage. Um, what's up, Mark? How are you? Um, which was good. Found out I'm getting uh, uh, some additional cases, which is fantastic. Michael Conforto foil. That is fantastic. So we'll be breaking several cases. I'm still working on more, at least, of Heritage in the uh, Facebook group. Thank you, Mandy. What are the advantages to the Facebook group? Well, the first big advantage is you get free shipping. Um, we try to stay very competitive on pricing. I can tell you now that our two-case pricing on uh, in the Facebook group... Uh-oh, that's a Clemens. This one's, I think, out of 25. Oh, 10 out of 10. Look at that. New York Yankees. The Rocket. 10 out of 10. Nice. Let's see. I got to get you in with that. Don't hit me. There you go. 10 out of 10 for the Yankees. Roger Clemens. Congratulations to the Yankee spot. 10 out of 10. Decades best. Shipping is free in the uh, Facebook group. We do lots of cases. Um, and it will only continue to increase the numbers of cases that we do. Which is good. And... We are a fun bunch to hang around with. 
we have a good time. No one is purposely mean to each other or I boot their butts out of our group. We treat each other with respect. And we keep the group focused on what it should be, baseball cards. You do. PayPal. You pay through PayPal. So tomorrow at 4, we have a jumbo case that's going to go live, uh, Rob. And so what will happen is um, I'll make some announcements, three hours until the, it goes live. One hour will be the final. You'll notice people are on there. If you take a look through the Facebook page, um, it'll say, uh, um, ask if people want to tag. And so then at one, one hour beforehand, anyone that asks for a tag, I will give them the reminder that, hey, in an hour... Um, this product is going live in a new post. And then at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, and if you want to get an idea, it is now 10.19 my time. So you can uh, plus or minus on what it would be. But at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, um, we take the case live in a brand new post, and then uh, everyone can claim their teams. If you are the first to claim the teams, you get a thumbs up from me, and that means they are yours. And then we just go down the list until all the teams are claimed. We keep updating things as we're going on. Then you pay Kurt Suzuki foil. You pay through PayPal, and then uh, and then we break the case. Uh, no, we don't. No, we don't. I'm just PayPal right now. I really should get Venmo, but I'm. I, I like I like PayPal. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I like PayPal to me is quick and easy. And I don't have to fight anything. But Venmo would be, I think, the next thing that we're going to maybe take a look at. Um, and I can always invoice people through PayPal. Then they can pay however they want to pay as well. Um, but I, I, I keep thinking that maybe I want to go back to the website. I don't know if I do. It's so, it's so quick and easy the way we do it through... Uh, through the Facebook group. We do, yeah. Like I said, uh, um, even buy-in? What do you mean even buy-in, Rob? We generally do it on a PYT format, so it'll be a set price PYT. Um, and if you take a look through there, you'll see the last one we did was, what, yesterday? Um, and that would be uh, Hobby 3. And you can see what the pricing is for all the teams in there, and that'll be the same pricing for the uh, um, the case tomorrow. And so that'll tell you who is what. I got it. Vogelbach, and how much you're going to pay. Like I said, then when it goes live, you claim it. If you're the first one to claim it, it's yours. You pay for it. We break it, and we ship you all your stuff. We have a two-day shipping guarantee um, for all of our uh, for all of our breaks. Everything we had over the weekend, we got uh, wrapped up and taken care of today. Um, and all of this, my goal is to have it all out before we hit that four o'clock time tomorrow because we're running two cases a day, and I want to make sure that we're shipping quickly. And then, for people who are on the Facebook group who buy on eBay, so for anyone who bought in, so Mandy and Marie were the only two, but anyone who buys in, look at that. Shohei Otani, SP. Is this a 94 or a 95? Or 84 or 85? What is the number? It's an 84, so this is the SP, not the SSP. So, and then for eBay, um, if you bought into the case uh, at 4 o'clock and then you buy into the eBay break at 10 o'clock then uh, you wait for an invoice and I uh, give you an updated invoice and uh, shipping if you buy two teams uh, whatever you're doing on eBay ships for free if you buy one team on, on uh, in the Facebook group then you pay three dollars for shipping uh, for eBay and then you're even so Mandy and Marie had uh, multiple teams in the uh, break yesterday, um, so they got free shipping today. 
And then uh, on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, we have rollover shipping, um, which means once you hit the cap, Facebook or eBay, which is uh, two teams for this product, everything else you buy ships for free. Pete Alonzo, Alvarez, and Boo. I don't think our hobby hits have been mad at all. I mean, I, we hit, we hit uh, the polar bear. I, I'm not sure how that's a meh hit. We've hit SSPs in every case. I'm not sure how that's meh. I'm, uh, our autographs have been, though they aren't as many as uh, Jumbo, have been fantastic. Yesterday we hit an Aussie out of 24. Aussie uh, Smith autograph out of 24. And then a... Um, who was the other one? Uh, Ricky out of uh, 199 for the uh, for the Cubbies. I mean, you're getting a, a camo. We've had a camo every case, which is really good. So no, I I don't feel like that at all. We got a. We got a Jordan Gold yesterday. That's a fantastic hit. I'm not sure what uh, your definition of great is, but if it's uh, a monster in every box, you 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 know. What's up, Dane? 1300 out of 2020. You're barking up the wrong tree with uh, with uh, flagship. You know what I'm saying? You got me on the color. Oh, the relics. You know, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I wish they would do something different there too. I'll be honest with you because, again, you know, the relics aren't. They never are. You know, and it's, it's the same way with any of those products. You know what I'm saying? Some of the things just seem goofy to have these relic cards in. Give me an extra autograph. Give me a, you know, give me some additional color. Give me something other than, I mean, some of them are cool. The numbered ones are cool, but, I, you know, I don't know. I, I agree with you there. I'd rather have something else. I'd rather have something else. Well, I do like the, uh, I do like the, uh, the jumbo patch. So, yes, if that's what you're saying, I, I agree with you. I agree with you, but I think that's part and parcel to flagship is you're going to have those kind of things. Tanaka is not. And you just go, huh? What's the other one? There was another another product that is similar that does that does patches. Oh, the Topps Chrome last year. Oh my lord. Remember those Topps Chrome patches you would get one per case? They were just absolutely useless. What the heck were those for? Dylan Cease. I don't even know what those... Those didn't add to anything, you know? Topps will eventually own the NFL license too, I'm sure. And then we'll see. Vladdy. But I get it. I mean, you got to have balance, too, in the product. You can't, you know, if they did what they did in a lot of the other products, and we're talking, uh, um, uh, yes, the 150-year commemorative patch, too. That's kind of, but uh, then you're talking a whole lot more money. You know what I'm saying? Anthony Rizzo. I'm guessing that's an SP. So then it becomes a different product, you know? I mean, I personally, I think some of the coolest things come out of uh, are the goofy little things that come out of like uh, big league and uh, opening day. The uh, the ones where they have the this year they have a piece of the or some of the dirt from the field and uh, on the player card and it's autographed. 
So those kind of things. Remember they had those dirt relics last year. We pulled several of them, and they were, I, I they were cool. But I'm a but I'm a baseball card geek. I like about everything. Yeah, you know, I mean, at least it was out of fifty, right, Rebel? At least it was out of fifty. I mean, we can't have everything, and have the uh, and have the price point we want to. Bryce Harper. Because Bowman is not going to be cheap this year. I'll tell you that now. Bowman is already expensive. Woo, it's expensive. But there's a lot of, a lot of good teams. And the fact that Dominguez is in there means some bucks. Mucho dinero. Yeah, you're right. You 100% are right, Eliezer. But I get it. But I get the whole thing. They're, they are kind of... Give us something a little bit more useful. What is more useful than that patch card? I mean, the, okay, the jumbo, the jumbo relic patch, I, I kind of like. It's cool. But the medallion things... You know, maybe give us more of the uh, home run cards, right? Because if you do get a home run card and you hit it right, then you win something out of that. Um, give us maybe some more of those. Give us something that could lead to, you know, Ryu. You know what one of my favorite ones was that Topps did? was What, what year was that? 2010, where they included the code. And then you can go on the Topps website and get, like, the retro cards. Um, remember that? Was it 2010, 2011, somewhere in there? But anyway, I, I went on there. My lord, we bought a ton of that product, and I had, I uh, um, was uh, trading everybody for Giants, and I had probably 150 Giants cards when I finally cashed everything out. Do something like that, you know. So, I hear you, though. Hey, some of those uh, Allen and Ginter LEAs are look like they're the Pens underwear, and you know. I don't know what people have. Some of these patches are all, it's all spongy and what the heck is that, you know? I know it's just me, but I don't need anybody, piece anybody depends on a card and call it a game you something, I don't know, or a they had the lady who was a sports journalist. Was that her that I'm thinking of? Sports journalist. And every single one of hers that we got were like uh, weird. Jansen out of 2020. Weird. Weird and creepy. Keston. But I do, I do like the good, the rookie mix for uh, series one. I think Tops did. People were upset at the time that they didn't include Alvarez and in some of the late products. But I think that the gamble paid off well. Um, Gavin Lux, Nico Horner, Aquino, uh, Bo Bichette. I think it made for a super strong product, and we get to carry that through the entire year with all the rest of the products, which is really nice.
Yeah, something like that. She was something like that. I can't remember exactly what, but it was like, what kind of relic is that from her? It was awkward. Yamamoto out of 299. It's got a little ding right there in the corner. What are you going to do? But I, the one I'm looking forward to, I, I know I'm, I know I'm, I, I fully admit that I am a, a, a baseball geek, baseball card geek, because the one that I'm really looking forward to is the, uh, is the big league. They have those boxes that have the, uh, the baseball action figures in them. Yeah. That's what I want. That's what I want to open. Chris Bryant, home run. I am looking forward to that one in a big way. Will Clark and oh. come on, where's our autograph at? You owe us some big hits. And no, as nice as it was, Roger Kleinman's 10 out of 10 does not qualify for a big hit. That was just a joke, Rebel. So let's see if I get it right this time. This one goes there. This one goes there. And that one goes there. And you like that. You go back there. I'm going to open this first. We want to see orange or red, guys. Orange or red. Because they can be autographed. So we see blue. Ken Griffey Jr. That's nice. Out of 150. Ken Griffey Jr. Mariner Blue out of whoopsie out of 150. And I know I should probably try to sell these some of these hits a little harder, but you know. I, I'm not. I'm not dumb enough to try to fool people into believing that a turd, no matter how much you polish it, is anything but a turd. That's just dumb. Laddie. So far, my son is. This case is not exciting me. Weak first half, great second half. So we've got to pull this thing up a little bit. I may have to go beat him while he's sleeping. Zach Collins. And a 2020. I mean, I don't really like to beat my kids, but sometimes they have to. Yeah, lipstick on a pig works too. Here it is, guys. My new drink of choice. Mountain Dew Zero Sugar. It tastes like the Mike Trout Relic Card smell. Like a winner. Yes, I do sniff the Mike Trout Relic Cards. And no, I won't apologize for it. So if you have the angels and I pull a Mike Trout relic card, I'm going to smell it. And I'm going to say, smells like a winner. And then I'm going to put it in another pile. Actually, I'll put a sleeve and stuff on it first. The Dodges. Look how ang they're all angry because they lost the World Series. Oh no. We can't beat anyone. 
the point is for those of us who are uh, ketogenic, who live a keto lifestyle, that is something that, and I am not a big fan of the aftertaste, and that gives me, um, you know, I should ask them though for that, Mark, shouldn't I? I'll hit them up. I'm going to hit them up for that. This break brought to you by Mountain Dew Zero Sugar. If you don't drink Mountain Dew Zero Sugar, you suck. And you should go buy into someone else's break. I try to keep them down to a minimum. That's probably not a good idea, though. <laughs> Someday you might be able to, Marie. Wow. Yeah, I probably shouldn't tell people if they don't like the drink that I like, they should buy it another break. I think this probably works against me, ultimately, so I take all that back. But, if the hits don't pick up, I am going to beat my son a little bit. Soaking it all in, the New York Yankees. This is Yankees. They're like, yeah, we're going to beat the Astros. We're going to beat the Astros. We're going to the world. Oh, crap. Out of 76 Independence Day. Oops, let's look at the number. 07 out of 76. 07, and I'm gonna. I'm not gonna say what I normally say, because I'm afraid of Marie. Um, you know, I they're gonna give Joey Barter a chance to play his way onto the team. I know. Haven't I pulled her one already? Did I pull her one already? Have I pulled you one yet, Marie? I thought we did. I, I think Bart will have a chance to play his way onto the team. And I would not be surprised as much as the Giants are going to suck this year. If he, um, if he was a... I would not be surprised if he was a September call-up. The Yankees. Yankees Independence Day. I would have a hard time believing he's going to start the season with the team, but I, my goal, my wish um, would be that uh, he uh, um, made the decision horribly difficult for the Giants. That would be my goal for Joey Bart. That he plays so well that the Giants are like, oh man, what to do now? And then they move Buster Posey to first. They put Brandon Belt out in left field, and they let Joey Bart do the catching. And they win 71 games instead of their projected 70. And amen. That's what I say, all you guys are amen. And, and you know, Posey's numbers are hugely better. I mean, he's got good numbers, but they're better when he's at first. Oh, Garrett Cooper for the Marlins out of 69. You know, Rob, I got to tell you, I pulled an acetate of him last night and everybody was super excited. So I think people are very excited about McKay. Yeah, it, that, Garrick, that makes sense. I mean, I you know I think that kind of sucks. I and I applaud the Padres for the way they handled it. They gave up that extra year of control with Tatis because they knew that he was the the person that they needed in there right now. And I would love to believe the Giants would do that, but okay, what the hell? Look at this and that. Have you guys ever seen that? Wow. Has anyone ever seen that? Well, that's, uh, 
Isn't that crazy? Back to back to back. Huh. Let me take a picture of that. Picture time. We're going to post that on the on the interwebs. I thought something special was happening, but the only thing special was those three cards. Congratulations to the Yankees. That was kind of neat. I that's the first time I've ever seen that happen in the whole you know year and a half I've been breaking. I know Rob Wright gets stuck on the polar bear. Man, that's fourteen polar oh do we have an autograph? Oh no. Let's pull out three polar bears in a row for heaven's sakes. Let's not pull out I mean no offense. But could have been anybody. Could have been a Kino. Could have been luck. That one's going on Twitter. Come on, we need an autograph. Autograph. Oh, it is an autograph. It is. Texas Rangers. Nick. Is his name pronounced Solok? Yeah, I've been seeing all these autographs have all been fantastic. Well, he's a rookie. Let's give him some time and see. But it is an autograph, so that's good. Really? So foil stamps are, are people are paying extra for them, are they? But it's time to get out the scraper. He's scraping off that foil. I don't know how that happened. That card came that way. I I haven't had to do that. Did you accidentally bump something? Maybe it pushed you back half a second? Maybe it's it's uh, YouTube wanting you to re-listen to the things that I've said. You know, I wouldn't put it past the algorithm to want people to hear me speak more. So, are, is anyone actually paying? for these things, James? I mean, are people paying money for them, or are they just trying to sell them for that? It's like that, like some of those old rookies they try to sell. People are actually buying them, huh? It's crazy. Tyler Glass now out of 20. Man, it is crazy. This might be a crazy year for baseball card collecting. I had to pick up the tops now. Jock Peterson traded card today. You know, I don't know. You, you always wonder about those. I, th I think it, you know, might carry a little. It kind of depends upon, you know, what people do with them, but. see orange red or orange red or or an autograph that one's not moving very well maybe that's an autograph it is ah oh, that's really good one that got it 
in our first two cases that we had of hobby, we pulled autographs. Good autographs. Um, yeah, congratulations, Shane. And the, um, man, we hit that guy. How many times did we hit that guy in uh, Texas? I, I bet you we hit that guy four times, five times in Texas. Um, I don't even know what we were talking about. Oh, the the autos, and and we haven't we didn't hit an auto in the in the silver packs yesterday at all. We hit an orange. Who do we hit an orange of? Somebody on the Cubs, Ryan Sandberg, but it wasn't autographed. Black Minnesota Twins. So this one's out of two ninety nine. Decades best teams for the nineteen sixties. Out of two ninety nine, you know, I, I would, I would sit on that thing, and see what happens. No, oh, geez, someone has bidden. They have bidden it. What they bid on? Let's see. Someone bid. Uh, Instagram, somebody's following me. That's, that's nice. Okay. Somebody bid on the Houston Astros. You bid on the Houston Astros. So, uh, so again, anyone who's not in our Facebook group, the question for you is, why aren't you in our Facebook group? How come you're too good for the rest of us? Hey, what's up, Steve? How come you're too good to come and hang out with the rest of us? You know, I just want you to think about that. That should be the thing you ponder for the rest of the night. Why am I too good to hang out with the rest of the guys from Russell Scrap Breakers? They're all good people. When I say guys, I mean men and women, of course. Not trying to be sexist. Don't want to alienate anyone at all. Come be a part of the crew, because we want you there. We want you to be a member of the crew. Jose Quintana, we want you to come buy into our breaks. Even if you don't buy, in, buy into our breaks, just come and join, hang out. We have a buy, sell, trade, and share. Th thank you, Steve. We have a buy, sell, trade, share that we're going to add the word ask. A S K. I want to clarify that because that lot, one would be me and the other one would be asking a question. So you got to clarify that. We're going to put ask on there. So because I monopolize the main feed because I'm very selfish like that and I only want to really see myself saying things. And so I put someone else in charge of the buy sell trade so I don't have to look at it. Matt Olson is he an SP? You know, nope. And that way you can come and you can ask questions in the buy, sell, trade, ask. Share. You can share pictures of your recent hits. You can ask for advice on cards. We've got some very knowledgeable uh, baseball people and uh, Dallas Pym. Don't ask Dallas any questions. He knows absolutely nothing. Dallas thought that the Red Sox were not going to trade Mookie Betts. I assured him that they were. I assured him that they were. And he told me I was full of the proverbial caca. And while that may be true, I was in fact right. And so, if he can't see that, you know, he, he's not buying into things too much, but I think he's hanging around. Oh, did you? Okay, hold on one sec. I'll get you in. Let's get you in there, Ryan. Let's look at Ryan's answers. I wish you would just shut up and break the cards. Ryan, that's not nice. That's terrible. That might hurt my feeling. You are in, sir. And someone else who just requested, you are in as well. Welcome to the RCB cult. Uh, 
I hope none of you have an aversion to wearing the goat's head because once a month we have the RCB meeting and someone has to wear the goat head. And it would be nice if someone would show up to the meetings beside me because it's kind of embarrassing sitting in my living room with the goat head on. So if someone else would come to the meeting, that would be helpful. You know, I'm just saying. Future stars, Jeff McNeil Gold. Oh, that's right. My bad. I didn't say that. I didn't talk about that. I forgot. We aren't allowed to. We are not allowed to. I apologize to everyone. We do not own a goat's head that we make uh, new people wear. And it is cleanish, so you know, I'm just saying. Uh, my son, so far, is not making me happy. He is not making me happy. Maybe he misunderstood when I said uh, "good case" and he meant a case where we pulled three of the same card in a row. Juan Soto, SP for the Nationals. Yeah, make sure you join the buy sell trade and. Uh, uh, buy, sell, trade. What's the other one on there? Buy, sell, trade, um, share, and soon to be ask. <laughs> if you had to wear a Dodger hat for two days, we'd lose Marie. I mean, a Giants hat. You'd lose Marie. Did I say Dodgers hat? I don't know what I said. But if you had to wear a Giants hat, we would lose Marie. That's what I'm trying to say. And I don't want to lose Marie, so, you know. Buy, sell, trade, share. You can post things, you can ask questions, you can buy things from other breaker, I mean from other people in the group. If you need to know whether or not uh, <laughs> he did, that's mean, that's so mean. That was my best line of the night. I'm so new at breaking that I keep all my Giants cards still. Look! He's a Dodger. That was my favorite line. Absolutely not. I do not have a second team. At all. Now, let me think here for a minute. Let me think. If I were going to have an American League team, hmm, that's a good question. Who do I like in the American League? Dodgers. Who do I like in the American League? If I had an American League team. Boy, I'm going to have to think about that. That's a tough question, right? I mean, I have never been a fan of the Oakland A's, so it wouldn't be them. The the easy answer. Thank you. Conforto. Two-color patch. The easy answer, I think, might be the uh, the Angels, but I don't know that that's the I don't know that that's the right answer. You know the organization I do like. Uh, yeah, neither could I. I I don't dislike the Astros. The organization I could like a lot would be the Tampa Bay Rays. I think for a organization that doesn't spend a lot of money they sure are they sure do a fantastic job uh drafting and player development i mean they, they just they are just fabulous every year so if i were going to go to the american league i think i would go to the tampa bay rays and a 
nice ancillary benefit of the Tampa Bay Rays is I can pretty much sit wherever I want every single time I go to a game. So you got that. Big air, big hair. You know. <laughs> yeah, that's a good answer there. I like that answer. I am not cold and heartless like that to the, the poor hapless Dodgers who cannot win a World Series. I just state the obvious and move on. I imagine that in his 38-ish year old season that uh, Clayton Kershaw will be a giant. So we will have this discussion again in, what, six years, seven years? I want every, look at that. Are you kidding me? Two boxes without silver packs. Two boxes without silver packs. I really am going to write tops, guys. I'm going to send an email. Not strongly worded, but uh, just, uh, hey, tops. Open a case. Here's a link to the video. Two of the boxes are missing silver packs. Let's see what happens. That is true, Rebel. That is true. I, I seriously am going to send the message. I seriously will be sending that message. And then I hope that... I hope that they... That can't be anything. That they reciprocate and send me something that I can... Uh, Keep and not tell you guys about. That's my goal. We feel bad that this happened to you. We are going to send you the polar bear without the foil stamp. And I'll be like, okay. And I won't share that with anyone. Oh, I might share with all of you guys the information. I I cannot tell you another time that's happened. I'm sure it has. But I could not tell you when we've had another break where we were missing things like that. So like I said, 4 o'clock tomorrow, we have a jumbo case going live. Um, uh, the post going live for the break. So if you guys want to get into that. Either remember that it's 4 p.m. Central Standard Time tomorrow or get a tag get it tagged into the uh, um, into that. And then you, too, will know the joy of opening stuff. You know, I agree with you, Rob. I can't. That's why I got crabby. I can't. I can't see anything. I have to have crabby to see anything. I can't see any of the numbers. I, I got to go to crabby every time. It is a single jumbo case, though. We could certainly do a multi 
case break. That's a good idea, James. I think I will take a look at that as well. But this will be a single case break. Hmm. Maybe Saturday we'll do a two caser. That's a good. That's a. That is a fantastic idea. Now tomorrow, a single jumbo. Out of three hundred, Roberto Perez. Tomorrow is single jumbo in Facebook, and the hobby is eBay tomorrow night. eBay tomorrow night. So the four p.m. It'll probably sell out by 4.15. Payments will be in by 4.30 and we'll be breaking by 5 o'clock. Then I will go to church at 7 o'clock. Come home at 8.45. And get all that wrapped up. And we will break another case at 10. Anthony Rizzo, foil, we'll put a Not if we do it the, uh, not if we do it like we did at the uh, Million Card Rip Party. I can get through two cases in about 45 minutes. I just won't talk to anybody. Jonathan, leave me alone. Can't you see I'm opening packs? Mandy, mute that person. Marie, kick that person out. Hmm. I like a four-hour break. We get a chance to sit out and hang out and talk. There you go, Rob. Rob will be hammered by the end of it, saying crazy things. We'll laugh. It'll be funny. And then we'll sort and ship. And everyone will be excited. Me too. Me too. Let's be honest. My mouth is too big to do a uh, to do a uh, fast break. What's the fun of breaking if we can't talk about stuff like the Dodgers and how much they can't win a World Series and uh, how much the Giants suck right now and uh, and oh and the baseball cards that we're breaking. Looky, looky! Vladdy, SP. We used to have a guy, I can't remember his name now, but he was one of the early guys. You probably remember this, Eleazar. The longer, the later it got into the night, the more drunk he would get. And by the end of the night, he was saying some crazy stuff. He'd be saying crazy stuff. And we were like, yep. And like type into himself crazy stuff. Nobody, nothing that anyone could answer. Nico Horner. That's right. Remember that dude? Generally speaking, they are in the third card from the back. Hey, you can be that guy, Rob. It's okay. We like that guy. He was all right. Generally speaking, though, the hit is the whatever the third card is. See that you got the two, and then you have the hit in front of that. Homer and Cardo, Juan Soto. Hey, that guy, I wonder what his name was. I didn't even catch it. There's a second guy that was on eBay who bought in a few times on eBay. Uh oh, looks like we got. Oh, dang, dang it. Never mind, I thought we had an auto. My bad. Bought in eBay a couple times, and he would get on there, and he would just, like, lose his mind. I feel like I had to mute him a couple of times.
But it takes all kinds. It takes all kinds. That's why this is such a fantastic hobby. Because whatever kind of whatever kind of way you like to collect, that is the the way that is good for you. You like some people like to only buy boxes, um, and I think that's fantastic. Support the local card shop only. I think that is fantastic. Everyone should 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 support their local card shop. Some people like only going to card shows and buying stuff from card shows. That's that is great too. I went to a card show this weekend. And I got to wax nostalgic at the uh, all the old cards. Nicholas out of 2020. And then there's people that like to just break and uh, they like different kinds of breakers. Some people prefer the kind that never say anything and then they run through the thing really quick and all the cards or you know whatever and you you hope you get all of your stuff and I say more power to you. There are guys that break during the day. They break a week after they sell the breakout. Lord help them. And then there are guys like me. And we haven't been able to define that one yet because My goodness. Let's recap before we go into the second half. But I I, I, th I think my son might be disappointed in the morning when I tell him. So let's recap a little bit. We've missed two silver packs so far. All right, that one's all right. That one's good. One soda. We got an autograph, which is good. Cooper, eh, the, the Yankee. Anthony Rizzo, Shohei. The Clemens, 10 out of 10, that's nice. The Solaire out of 99, that's nice. Springer out of 50. Garrett Cole. I'm probably, I don't even know why I put him in there. So, I think we're okay. Okay. You know, um,. Yeah, people just ruined the giveaways, though. And what are you going to do? People just ruined it. Thank you, Tim. How you doing tonight? And and we, when we have a bad first half, we have a great second half. Hey, look, a silver pack. All right. Woo! Way to go, Tops. Way to go, Tops. You know, we used to, you guys, we used to have the box of fun, and I love the box of fun. That's why that wheel you see in the back, that was going to be to go to the box of fun. And we would, uh, and we would, uh, give away extra autographs and things, and then, uh, and then people started ruining it. Did she go in the back? No. Oh. People started ruining it. I would get complaints, um, and, uh. It's not fair that you have to be there in order to win, and you shouldn't do that, and I'm reporting you to eBay, and, you know, people just ruin everything. Some people just ruin any, everything. And, of course, those are the knuckleheads. I almost said morons. That's probably not nice. Um, that uh, will buy in one time and then complain about it, you know what I'm saying? But uh, that is something we should we could bring back for the Facebook group. Hmm. It's not a bad idea. I do want to I do want to do that again, and we will have another uh, we will have another uh, one of our traditional um, free parties. We had a. Uh, 100, a 250, and a 500 subscriber party where everything was free. We did Pack Wars for the... Which one do we do? I think we did Pack Wars for all of them, right? And the last one, we had a big giant board. Somewhere in there is a video. And we had 64 people that we randomly selected. Uh, and uh, we had the... Oh, look at that. Brooks Robinson. And we had the board... And then you got any one step based on where you're at. 
I think last time I gave away a, a graded T206 card. We had all kinds of stuff. Oh, yeah, that's right. It was Bowman Pack Wars, wasn't it? All those uh, extra packs I had it from opening those 8,000 boxes of uh, the Bowman... Uh, how long does it take uh, you to sort, package, and ship one? We usually have it done the next day. We have a two-day shipping guarantee, Rob. So we, we will have it out within two business days every single time. Uh, but usually it's the next day. It might have to start being two days um, just because we are the volume of breaks is increasing uh, for us. But we will, we will never break more product than we can ship within two days. It took us, I don't know if you saw the, the, the post in there, but it took us 66 hours for that million card rip party. We had 18 cases. We had to sort um, and, it, and package. Um, yeah, we are going to do that, Sam. I have it sitting back here still. We are going to get that done. Uh, we, it took us 60, four of us 66 hours to sort that thing and package it. And then it, and then it took another uh, 16 hours on uh, Sunday to uh, ship it. No, that's fine. I don't take it the wrong way. I think that's a great question to ask. I like for people to ask those questions. Because I'm proud of, uh, of how we handle the shipping. Garrett Cooper out of 2020. I'm, I'm very proud of the, the way we handle everything because we double bag when we ship. Um, this time we tried something different in that we used 400 count boxes and packed them out with packing peanuts and put all the hits and everything in with them. So I'm curious to see what the feedback will be from the Facebook group when, when uh, people get their stuff eBay, we did a traditional. Facebook, I did it this way, and so we'll see how people uh, how people feel about that. I don't. Had we have done it the other way, it would have been another 14 hours to get it all done. But you figure we got done with the uh, rip party Tuesday night. We got home Wednesday at 3:30 in the morning, um, and we started working, and we had everything uh, packaged up. Um, sorted, packaged by uh, Sunday, about 3.30 in the morning, we were done. So four days to do 18 cases. I was pretty impressed with this. And not a hitch in our, and not a, uh, uh, a hitch in our giddy up there. We uh, had no, nothing that went awry. Like today, I tried to ship the um, break that happened yesterday as one of the uh, breaks for today and I realized early on so we had to go and pull everything apart and I tried to make a mistake I rarely make those I'm I'm dang near perfect I, I don't want to brag which is also again why I don't like to put myself on camera because I'm just so ridiculously pretty that you know I don't know if you guys noticed that, but the the internet in the entire world, when I started my Tops interview, for a brief second, it went out. I mean, it came right back, but it was, it was, it was, you know. That's why you don't see a camera on me. It's just so hard. It's just so hard. It's the beard. People like the beard. Mondesi out of 2020. Yes, I am full of crap, but no, I don't care. I don't care. It's fun to be full of crap. But uh, the the one we did yesterday is now is it packaged? Yep. It's sorted in the process of packaging. My wife is already um, is sorting as I break uh, this all of this. So once we get done with this, then we will start the uh, packing process. We will get everything packaged up. You know, it is hard to be me, Mandy. I mean, it really is. It's really hard. I mean, it's hard to really compare, you know, but maybe Brad Pitt would understand what I go through, something like that. You know? I mean, it, you know, there's not many.
Danny DeVito might understand. Maybe. Will Clark, how come you can't be signed? You know how many cases of this have I opened? I've had one Giants autograph. I'm so disappointed. And I also keep my Giants in every single one of my breaks. I know most of you know that already, but that is why I started breaking, so I could get more <laughs> San Francisco Giants cards, and I will never, ever sell them, ever. I sold them in two breaks, and it went horribly wrong. Will Clark autograph came out. I cried. There were snot and tears. My wife hit me with things. It was just an awful, awful experience. And so... I never again will give up my Giants. Even when I become the official breaker of the San Francisco Giants, I will still not give up my Giants. Oh, come on. Albert! We need some autographs here. We need some stuff to make up for the fact that we're missing silver packs. I don't even know what that face is, did you, Wheeler? Were you? You know, it's it's easy to get that way. It's easy to get that way. I had to keep making other breakers go back to their table. You know, they would stand over there by me. I'm like, dude, go break somewhere else, man. Take care of your own stuff. It's very hard. It's very hard. And sad. And sad for them. Glaber. Oh, Shane Bieber. What was in the left pile? Which left? Oh, oh, the Giants thing you're saying? Yeah. Oh, can you see him? Yeah, you can right there. On the big, on the little one. Those are my giants. And every once in a while, when I hit uh, some kind of a one of one uh, wheeler, I will uh, sneak it in there. I will, I will surreptitiously slide it over. Am I need to breaking? I don't. I, I'm not sure. I guess I am. I never, ever give up my Giants. That's why we don't have very many Giants people in our Facebook group. It's like, what's the point? And I would love to have for them to stay around forever. But I, I just can't. Ah, black. Tatis, Judge, Yelich, and Aaron Judge again. Out of 199. Aaron Judge again out of one ninety nine. But we are most definitely in this for the pleasure of opening boxes of baseball cards and not chasing the almighty dollar. I can tell you that now. My modeling career has made me uh, independently wealthy. And so, you know, my camera needs to be tightened down. No, because once you put them in something, Rob, they flatten back out. Put them in a top loader, they'll flatten themselves back out. Bichette, Mike Trout. Really? With the no autograph? Nothing, huh? should be in the Facebook group. We've got it on. 
Damn, 250 people since the uh, rip party. Michael Chavez. I'm going to put Chavez in the sleeve. Future stars. And I do have more of the um, Leaf Ultimate draft baseball on its way in as well. So we'll break uh, a case Thursday of that. And then we'll, uh, maybe on the weekend, we'll break a couple of cases. Because I think our eBay break is late on Friday. Midnight on Friday, maybe 11 p.m. on Saturday. So we can probably get in three cases. On uh, Friday and Saturday. Well, Saturday anyway. Maybe we'll uh, pre sell them and we'll call it the Dozen Card Rip Party. The Dozen Card Rip Party. I wonder if Tops would be upset if I did that. Am I, am I straight here? I don't feel like I'm straight. Don Sutton. Uh, let me ask if we would start in prison here. John Equato. Robbie Grossman. <laughs> you wonder where people come up with those last names. What is it that in his family history that you that your last name turned out to be Gross Man? I mean, really, do you ever think about those kind of things? Am I the only one? Okay. about a one of one? Man, how about something in this case? Yeah, me too. Looking forward to seeing uh, him back for a full year with the Giants. Truthfully, I don't think the Giants are going to be as horrible as everyone thinks they're going to be. I, I don't think they're going to win anything. Hey, look at that! Gavin Lux SP, thank the Lord, Marie. Oh my, this might be the SSP. Actually, I think it is the SSP. Yes, that's the SSP. I always like doing that too, buying those uh, cheap relics. Look at that, Marie got the SSP for Gavin Lux. Whoo, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. You guys don't know, that woman, she will send me messages hateful. If you don't hit me something, I'm coming to get you. She really does scare me a lot. She really does scare me. Is she awake, Mandy? She can't hear me, right? Is she, did she fall asleep because she has to work tomorrow? You know, don't tell her I said that. Because then I might really get hate mail. He's not a polar bear, but I mean that's a big, that's a nice big hit. So the second half is going along better. Maybe we hit the uh, trout. Sorry, Artemis. Oh, thank goodness! I'm glad she fell asleep. I'd be in trouble. Hey, go wake her up. Tell her I got the uh, Gavin Lux SSP. Go shake her. Go kick her. Dude said I should kick you and tell you that he pulled you the Gavin Lux SSP. Oh, she's not feeling well again. I bet she's feeling better now. Phew. Come on, we need some more big hits. Big hits. Big hits. Big hit. That is not a big hit.
Biggie, biggie. Look at it, Garrett Cole. Garrett Cole, SP. In his Yankees uniform. Well, it is late for her. I mean, it is after midnight. It is after midnight at the Florida State Correctional Institution. Hey, your dog, Ian. Hey, Nat. Yeah. That little dog needs to go out. The one who's up and running around like that crazy person. When? She's been sitting under my desk. Yeah, she did not hurt for that. $400? Hey, tell Maria I love her, but she's out of the group. I'm taking offers on the Gavin Lux SSP. 100 bucks to get it done. Well, she was worried about spending $90, and uh, turns out it was $90 well spent. It was it was a little high for the Dodgers. I, I will admit that. Um, but I'm glad we, in this case, prices are always relative. Whether or not you made a good buying decision or a bad buying decision is definitely relative to the hit you get. Let me give you an example of that. Last year, in the tops, um, clearly authentic, there was only one Giants auto in the entire thing. And it was Miguel Gomez. Who you're asking? Yeah, that's right. Who? That is the question. And some dummy, in a 20 box case break, 20 boxes, mind you, where only maybe half the teams are going to get a hit, spent $50 to chase what effectively was a $2 card. We won't mention his name, but he's now sitting in this chair because, you know, he was dumb the other way. I'm just saying. So even if I would have hit one, even if I would have hit the one of one, Paul Goldschmidt, My favorite buys are my angry buys, where somebody gets, uh, I'm in, I'm in some, uh, buying into some break and somebody keeps outbidding me, you know, they keep the one dollar in me, I hate that when people one dollar you. And so, the last time that happened, the last big time it happened, um, it was, uh, Bowman. And it was a giant, and it was a full case break. And this guy kept nickel and diamond me. Ken Griffey Jr. And the Giants were not a cheap team, cheap team in that break anyway. And so I got mad, and I bid six hundred and fifty dollars. Fortunately, I didn't have to pay that. But that was my go ahead, dude, moment. And, I mean, you know, I didn't get any Joey Barts, let's just say that. But I think I got a Luciano autograph. So that was okay. Base, but. That was the most expensive uh, Giants break I was in last year. I get mad like that sometimes, I admit it. I admit it. Sometimes I just get mad and I snap. And I do silly things. I overpay for cards. I'm not I'm human. I do that sometimes with singles too. 
It didn't. I didn't pay six fifty. I paid uh, two seventy five or two seventy eight or something for the spot. But it was like sixty bucks more than I should have. But uh, I was having an attitude that day. And instead of instead of feeling dumb about it, I was high fiving myself while I wasn't getting any hits. You know what I'm saying? But oh well, those things happen. Man. Okay. So Gavin Lux has paid for the entire case. I want to see who our camo is. I am feeling very Jordan Alvarez-ish on the camo. That's what I'm that's what I'm calling for right now. No. It's gonna be a rookie, but I'm wrong on the Alvarez. But we're just gonna stick with it. Green, Altuve, Devers, and Jacob deGrom, green. So we're getting color, but no autographs. We need autographs. <coughs> Out of 99. Aquino would be a good one, would it? Lux would be fantastic. Oh, let me move. Oh. Let's move you guys up out of my way. Get out my way. You guys can come over here. Come here. And I am so close to finishing my 2019 Topps Chrome Giants rainbow. My Giants team rainbow. And I am getting closer. And there's... And I want to finish my 2018, but I just cannot find that. I just need the orange. Um, oh, my Lord. Uh, Evan Longoria. That is all I need. Orange Evan Longoria, 2018 Topps Chrome. So if anyone ever runs across that. Orange 2018 Topps Chrome Evan Longoria. Then I will have the entire team rainbow. For 2018, and I'm down to I think two cards for 2019, but I'd have to go look and see what they are. But I did miss a PSA 10, uh, um, Kevin Lux, PSA 10, uh, Buster Posey, Tyler Flowers out of 2020. Um, because I was doing something else and forgot about it. Isn't that the way it always works out, Eliezer? It's the way it always works out. What do you have you buy? I think it's a 240. I think it's a 240. Trevor Bauer? I feel like it's a 240. But down from 240 is... Hold on, let me look. You know, it actually might be a 180 now that I'm thinking about it. But it's either 240 or 180. So if he had you buy a 240, it is in fact a 180. If he had you buy a 360, it might be a 240. Okay, so then it then it's a 180 is what you're looking for. Justin Verlander. Is Verlander SP? He is SP.
We might make it in under two hours. That'd be a Christmas miracle. So far, only one autograph, and we were missing two silver packs. That is disappointing. Benintendi foil. Fernando. Manny says hello. I have not seen this shirtless Pete. And that says, leave her alone. What's that, Nat? She said, the only couch you're allowed to sleep on is your couch at home. Don't show up at our house. I think that's mean. I would never say that to you. But, uh, you know, clearly, and that doesn't feel the same way. Keller. I was like, man, that feels slick. Keller out of 300. Ken Griffey Jr. I feel like a like a one of one is coming or something like that I don't often get those feelings but I feel like something's going to jump out at us we're going to be all excited Mookie Dodgers. Relic, relic. Sorry, little janky. Mike Trout. Be a one of one. Ooh, it's a black one. Out of 199. <sighs> Smells like a winner. Smells like a winner. Yes, sirree.
Trent Thornton, gold. Bo, Bo knows the Blue Jays. Buster Posey. One of the things I like is that Topps is putting in uh, Willie Mays in the packs this year. So maybe I'll get lucky and there'll be a nice cut sig. Willie Mays. The Say Hey Kid. Silver Pack. Yes. Nice. We had a relic that was Saturday that was uh, autograph out of ten. Trent Grisham. Um, it was who was it? It was um, the Yankees rookie from 2018 out of time after the break tonight of that luck so I can put it on Twitter and tag the group. I'll do it here in a second. Toro. You have to, uh, you have to, uh, adjust it. Hanger packs, huh? That would be the only thing that I would break for Series 1, Series 2, any of that. It's funny how that works sometimes that you you have certain products like 2018 Topps Chrome um, blaster boxes I did way better on those than I did on the uh, on the hobby packs for personal stuff not for breaks so it is funny how that works out that way AJ Puck. Did I take a pic? And that did we send out that the polar bear went out today? Huh? Yeah. And I never took a picture of that dumb thing. Dang, got me. 
What's the matter with me? Dante Bichette. I mean, Boba Bichette. Dante Bichette. No, I'm. I'm pretty sure I sent it out today. Boat. Yeah. There's a white on the corner, but I don't know if it's on the card. It almost looks like it's raised. Like there might be a small piece on that. So whoever gets that, you might want to take a look at it. So once again, the short prints have been fantastic. Um, the autographs have been not so fantastic. Um, but we're not done yet. Yeah, I, I think that too, I think so too, James. Well, I mean, it makes sense that you want to get people going. You know what I'm saying? So if that's the way they do it, you know, get the get the hits rolling. Makes sense. Bo, Dubon. I'm expecting good things from that kid. So many things that I love. I love Allen and Ginter just because I think it's just so much fun. Like I said, that uh, Max Kepler, that uh, big league with the action figures. You're scared to get 18 blasters? I'd be eating them up. We were in the 30s when we started breaking this. We're down to 14. People start. And it is a late night. Hey, look at that. Pink. Next. Mets team card out of 50, and there is on this one too. Might be a little white, a little white dot right there. I can't see it that well because my eyes don't work that well. We haven't had our camo yet, so 48 out of 50 for the New York Mets Mother's Day. Yeah, Gypsy Queen. That's another good one. Trap War Two great products, Elias are two great products. 
I think Topps Chrome is really going to be strong this year. Goldschmidt. Because, I mean, you got all these rookies, these guys. Oh, man. Bowman's going to have, uh, it's going to be the first, uh, wh who's the Royals guy? Um, they held him out. And then it's going to have uh, Dominguez. Uh, I, it's just going to be, it's going to be a good year. It'll be a fun year. Rio Muto. Patch card. I mean, Major League Material card. For the Phillies. I think I have a case and a half of this product coming from somewhere. Um, hobby. So we're going to have to maybe do a, a big PYT case and a half PYT in the, uh, in the Facebook group. Or maybe a two case do a hobby. Close call. Good. We're going to have to roll that off. Do a hobby jumbo mixer. So, um, left is odd. We'll go to Minnesota. Right is even. We'll go to Detroit. And it is a two. So it is even. So it will go to the Tigers. Bowman's best, yeah. Did they have? They didn't have Bowman's best this year, did they? Oh yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. I'm thinking of Bowman, the tech. Yeah, Bowman's best this year was fantastic. My lord. We will be doing James um, Tops Chrome for sure retail because I put in a big fat order of it. So yes, we will do some retail. Um, not everything, because I don't think a lot of it translates well into retail, but uh, Bowman does, um, Topps Chrome does, I think Update does. Um, so, yes. Going to be doing the uh, we'll have for the tops chrome we'll have the sepia the sepias and the pinks the pinks are in the uh, the value pack cases BD, my one autograph. Certainly is easier to get a higher grade from PSA with a thicker stock, uh, thicker base card stock. I think this is Baez, is also an SP. It is Javier Baez. SP for the Cubs. Eloy.
See you later, Marie. I mean, Mandy. I hope Marie feels better. Big hair. Cody Bellinger. Let's see what eBay has to say. Uh oh, an auction's ending in nine minutes. What is it? Bowman Chrome Prospect. Mojo. Oh. Yeah, I don't want you. You went beyond my personal price threshold. Uh oh, White Circle of Death. Are we back? Anyone else have the White Circle of Death? I did for a second. Cody Bellinger. Mikey Trout. Who, if it holds true, we should have an, a camo. I hope it's a good camo. Because the... Jacques Peterson was a good hit. Gavin Lux, look at that. Gold. So maybe to be a Gavin Lux camo. Nice. I like the greens. I like the greens. I'm a fan of the, uh, the green autos. My favorites are the green and the orange, of course. Kansas City Royals. Yeah, Dodgers and Yankees are doing all right. Aquino. Gavin Lux. I'm too tired to keep flipping the pack back and forth. Mike Yastrzemski. Be good if he had another great year. Thought that barrel was something, it turned out to be nothing. What's the matter with Liberty? Payson. Wow, nice. That's a good one. Kurt Suzuki, 2020. So far, it's the Gavin Lux Show. Bo 
Bouchette, he's been on the front of a lot of them. Bo. Doing what's the biggest pull you've had out of some personal boxes or pack? Non breaks. Um, my wife and I. Well, let's see. When we were opening the Bowman Mojo boxes lot from last year, the Target ones, um, my wife pulled a green Wander Auto, and I had a 10 box run um, that I pulled two Joey Barts autos out of 10 boxes. I think it actually was the first box and the last box. Um, and so. Dollar wise, I generally don't do well for myself, to be quite honest with you. That would have been the most expensive card. It was a thousand dollars at the time for that that uh, um, <coughs> Wander Franco. But I, I don't usually do fantastic. Oh, we got an auto. All right. I usually don't do fantastically well for myself. Let's see, am I upside down? Oakland A's, Sean Murphy. Sean Murphy. So our two autographs today have not. Yeah, the Bart's are never going anywhere. I pulled a Bart, but it was in a break. I pulled a Bart press plate auto, patch auto. Uh, one of one, and that was a nice. That's a card that I really like. Is that of a Panini product? Um, I don't usually do fantastically well for myself, honestly. I really don't. Marco Gonzalez, no. I guess that's good though. We save it all for the breaks where it should be. All right, guys, last box mojo. Wait for everyone to give me some last box mojo. I think we need it today. We need some last box mojo. Yeah, that's not as much fun. Last box mojo, guys. Let's have some LBMs here. Rob, Eliezer, James, someone, give me a last box mojo. Digital Wheeler, that's close enough. Last pack mojo. Yeah, it's purple. I got it. Gavin Lutz. Will Clark purple. When you say we, who's the other other part of we, James? Good deal. Nothing like collecting with your kids, huh?
Johnny Cueto. Go. Who was the uh, who was the one of one? Yeah, I bet he did. I'm going to assume that somewhere in this box is our camo. Mother's Day, we haven't had a blue and no camo. So let's hope this last case comes through. I mean, this last box comes through. Aha! Uh -huh. Well, that's not a bad one, right? Could be worse, could be Rowdy Telez. Not that I wish Ratty Telez ill, but I'd rather have Chu than Telez. Will Clark. We had in the archives retired, we were pulling six per case of 20 for the of the one on ones we just had some monster cases of that oh you, you're probably right mark you're probably right well let's hope it decides to show itself because i would hate to miss it but it is camo so it will be tougher to see for sure teddy ball game Kipnis a uh, out of three hundred. Kipnis out of three hundred. Nico Horner. I should be pulling out Nico Horner too, shouldn't I? I don't know why I'm not. Yeah. One of one. Did you guys buy a, a case of uh, jumbos too? Jacob de Grom blue. Is opening day out? The twenty twenty opening day? Or did you buy? Okay, I'm with you. Here, camo, camo, camo. Come on, camo. Well, 
What are the Alvarez rookie base selling for? Thank you, Doug. Oh, you dropped all the suckers on the ground? Okay. <laughs> Josh Bell. Come on, one more stack, guys. We got to... That's not bad. Aaron. Trey Turner out of one ninety nine. Come on, Camo. What gives? Oh, Bobachet Gold. Man, that would have been fantastic. So, Bobachet Gold and Gavin Lux Gold. That's solid. All right, James. Have a great night. Last pack. Really, did we not hit it? I don't think I see a camo. Dustin May. Wow. Okay. Recap. Once again, the SPs were solid. Um, this case was a tough. It was a little tough. Gaming's memorabilia: Kepler for the Twins, Ryu for the Dodgers, Pujols for the Angels, Griffey for the Mariners, Mike Trout at 199, and George Springer out of 50. For the Major League Material, Conforto, Vogelbach, Real Muto, and Trey Turner. Um, from the Silver Packs, Ken Griffey Jr. out of 150, Aaron Judge out of 199, and Jacob DeGrom out of 99.
pull this one out of 300. Pull a couple of those ones. I just put him in there. Uh, Trent Grisham, I'll miss him out of 199. Um, let's go with out of 99, Jorge Soler, vintage stock. Um, Black Cooper out of 69 for the Marlins. Yankees out of 76. And the Mets team out of 50. We had Gavin Lux and Bo Bichette, gold. We had the Clemens, 10 out of 10. For the Yankees, we had two autos. Solak and Murphy, not good. And then the, uh, the uh, let's put the, the one on the uh, back. SPs were good. Vladdy, Soto, Rizzo, Otani, Garrett Cole, number one, Brooks Robinson, Garrett Cole, number two, Verlander, Bichette, Baez, and the SSP. Thank you, Eliezer. And the Gavin Lux SSP was the hit of the night. So there you go. Thank you all very much for buying in. We'll be back doing this again tomorrow night. eBay group, we will have a break at 4 o'clock if you want to join the eBay group. So you guys all have a fantastic night, and we will talk to you soon. Take care.